we have bums and superstars. Dudes who just there because you need 13 people or you need 63 people or you need 25 people or you got the stars and that's what's missing. And those computers cannot because, hey man, the computer would never tell you to draft Dennis Rodman because Dennis, what Dennis Rodman did does not show up on the uh, uh, on the stat sheet. What Scottie Pippen does does not show up on the stat sheet. I, man, I remember LeBron James had a triple-double. He had a zero plus minus. And it's like, what? And he killed it. I'm like, what? So, that's what I'm saying, man. They can keep their computers eight. Hey, but until people start thinking for themselves again, we're going to continue to deal with this. Uh, let's move on. Enough of that. I'm good with that. Exit stage right. With that being said, man, one week into the National Basketball Association, we've had everybody play a couple of things. What did you see? What did you like? What do you want to talk about? Just talk to me, man. Oh, man. Um, it's, it's a couple, couple things I said I think that the Warriors should have been doing their thing. Uh, as far as it goes, you know, I was, I've said a couple weeks ago, I'm keeping my eye on Kyrie and Kevin Durant. Um, we'll see how that's going to go. They, they came out strong, but of course, now they sitting down, so ain't no telling what that's going to happen. And plus, they lost to them with so that might be a potential, you know, blow against them. Not that he's the key, but he is a piece of the cause that needs to make it run coming off the bench. Um, been watching the Lakers, you know, back and forth doing their thing. Uh, really, the big thing that I've been watching, because I did predict that he might be MVP, is Luca and the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, <laughs> of course, I know we all saw, I mean, if you were paying attention at all, pretty sure you were. We saw a whole, a whole small point by halftime uh, from the Dallas Mavericks on the, on the Clippers. So, Their only I've victory of the year. Game. I've been enjoying it uh, from a couple of things I've been watching. Oh, the NBA has been the NBA, man. I'm, again, because of what we were just talking about, it doesn't grab me the way it used to. I can remember at one point in my life, you couldn't wait. Like, when I was younger, this stage of the NBA season, uh, uh, this would be the end of October, mid, mid, um, early to mid November at this point. And, and you used to want to see it, but it's like, it's a three point, it's literally like watching, uh, your nephew, your sons, or whoever it is, play a video game. So it really doesn't grab me. What has been sticking out is the fact that the Bulls are over. The Washington Wizards are over. <laughs> the Toronto Raptors, Raptors are over. And the Houston Rockets are over. But one thing that did stick out in my head, though, on the real, on the serious side, is this. The the goddamn Houston Rockets are 0 for 2, but this dude, James Harden, is averaging 38 points. This dude is averaging 13 rebounds on 60% shooting, and he out there looking like boom, 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 boom. Like he finna say, hey, hey, hey. And I'm like, damn, huh? Man. <laughs> he out there plump. <laughs> yeah, that man out there looking thick as hell, but he killing. I got to give it up. My man Mandelion said the Warriors are trash. Uh, and which we gonna talk about that in un momento por favor. We're gonna talk about that in a second. That's part of our question of the week. But yeah, that's what's sticking out to me, man. Hopefully James Harden has had a change of heart. He's definitely not going to uh, 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 New Jersey now. I'm a Brooklyn now because Spencer Dinwiddie is out for the season and uh it's not going to happen. But hopefully he settled down because at the end of the day, man, the Houston Rockets may be able to make some noise because if they get James Harden, John Wall, the boogie, the boogie monster, and the dudes who hooping now, because they're not getting smoked. They battling. So it might, they might be on one. They, they might be on one, but it's going to be interesting, man. You know, it, we living in a bizarro superhero world because the goddamn Cleveland Cavaliers are 3-0. and 
the, the Cleveland Cavaliers is number one seed in the Eastern Conference. So, you know, it's a bizarre situation right now. And, uh, you know, so it's still early. And uh, we're going to see, man. Jeff Van Gundy has coached the team to 2-1. and one. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is. It's going to be interesting, man. Which leads me, ladies and gentlemen, haters and bitter friends, this is the question of the week. I need you to pay attention. Here come the question. Are you ready? Good evening, family. I'm ready. Is Steph Curry? This is right in line with the homie man, my man Mandelion, former member of the uh, motherfucking Commodores. He was uh, unexpectedly asked to leave in 1978, but uh, that's another story. You can catch him on Taste and Talk later later on tonight. We can share stories about how the Ohio players kicked me out, but that's not they ain't got nothing to do with basketball. Is Steph Curry, here's my question. Is Steph Curry a paper MVP or is he the real deal? Dun, dun, dun. Right, that, that, that is. You know what? It, uh, ask the question again. Is Steph Curry a paper champion or is he the real mother freaking deal? To that you say what? To that I say Steph Curry is a very good shooter. I'm not gonna say he's a paper MVP because in regards to what him and his teammates did, he didn't say that yet. So but in regards to that, now it's looking like he would be what we what Trey Young would be. What the the lead is, he might lead the team and you know lead the league to score, but your team's trash. You know. Pretty much how Kevin Love was in Minnesota. Or Kyrie was in Cleveland. You know, you could call all these points, but y'all not winning no games. So is it more so Steph can Steph Curry lead the team without good teammates? Without the other best shooter in the league? That's what it's that's, that's the question that's going to be answered this year. And so far, again, it's still early. It ain't looking too good for my man. Me, per- some off one. Me personally, man, like I said earlier in the sec- in the sec- we used to have scrubs and busters. We used to have some pretty good players. We used to have all-star caliber players. The dudes who get snubbed every once in a while, they might make one, one or two all-star games. You used to have stars, all-stars. And superstars, right? I believe Kevin, I mean, uh, uh, Steph Curry is a star. I don't think he's, I, after watching this, again, this is after a few games, but I don't think Steph Curry is the type of dude that you can build your team around. That's that's what a league MVP is to me. If you win the National Basketball Association uh, Most Valuable Player Award one season, what I think you should be is when I look at those guys, I look at a guy like a Moses Malone, multiple MVP, Larry Larry Bird, multiple multiple MVP, uh, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, uh, um, even even a guy like Charles Barkley, one time MVP, the dude y'all like, the sale man, uh, I mean mailman, my bad. He, he, but you can build a, a team around these guys. I just don't see it. I don't see it. Is he a very good player? Indeed he is. But the question I have for you and everybody else who say, yeah, he a superstar. He deserved those two MVPs. Here's the question. Exactly. But now I can. Exactly, Chief Rocker. This is the question I have for y'all. Is If you had to pick Steph Curry or Joe Dumas, who would you pick? The fact that you're still thinking about it, the fact that you're thinking about it. I was about to make a preface question, just to make sure, just to make sure. If you, if you had, I'll clear it up for you. If they granted you a NBA franchise. And they told you these dudes will be healthy for 82 games. 
the, the fewest amount of games these two dudes are going to play is 85 games. I mean, a, 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 a 75 games. You know, ankles, you know, ankle tweak or something like that. That's all that's going to be. There ain't going to be no major injuries or none of that. Who would you pick? And, and the players available are Joe Dumas and Steph Curry. Who would you pick? Mandelion said Dumas. Give me Dumas. That's why. So, why don't Joe... Do you think Joe Dumas is two-time league MVP worthy? That's what I'm saying. If you you had no problem picking Dumas. Now watch this. If you had to pick Magic or Bird, who would you pick? Uh, Magic. Without a doubt. Yeah, I'm thinking Magic or Bird. Oh, but then again, you never seen Bird play either because you was born. The, the year you were born was the last time Larry Bird won the championship. And that's not a slight. Uh, but... Exactly. People are saying Dumas because of his defense. But this is they they picking him over a dude who won a lead two time league MVP and they're saying, I would get this guy. See, it's mixed. Look at the chat room, it's mixed. Magic, bird, magic. Because it's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Oh god. But with Steph Curry, there's no way and look, look, I pick Magic and Bird. And both of them have multiple league MVPs. But there's no way in hell you can say, let me see, Steph Curry, a two-time league MVP, and Dumas was just a great ball player. Watch this. Watch this. Who would you pick? Magic John? Oh, you know what? Yeah, Magic Johnson over Ke or Kevin Johnson. Nobody's going to say match. I'm going to Kevin. Nobody. Right. Nobody's saying Kevin Johnson. If you could guarantee Kevin Johnson was going to be healthy, all those hamstrings and knee injuries that he had, abdomen pulls, you, nobody's saying that. And like they said, Curry over Nash. But no, no, it's not about who's the best player in regards to Curry or Nash. It's about is Steph Curry what they built him to be. Steve Nash ain't a two time league MVP. But here's the difference in Curry and Nash. Since you brought up Curry and Nash, I'll pick, I will pick Nash. Guess why? Because Steve Nash had the best record in the league with him, Amari Stoudemire, an uh, uh, old boy who wanted to fight Kobe, Joe Johnson, and all of them, right? They got rid of Joe Johnson. They got rid of Amari Stoudemire busted up his knee, and they did not miss a beat. They had their best record in the league again. So, and again, man, if you, my thing is, if you league MVP, unless everybody get hurt, but I'm not talking about two league MVPs, you, you haven't, you're having a different conversation than me. Is the dude what he's built to be? Steve Nash lost two of his best, two of his best players went to free agency. His very best player went into uh, 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 had a knee injury, and the Phoenix Suns still kicked ass. Steph Curry, his best players get hurt, and his teams, his team is struggling at. Oh, they beat the Bulls at the fucking buzzer. And again, we're still early, but I just don't see it, man. I I don't see it. I think he's an excellent ball player. I think the Golden State Warriors fixed basketball for a short period of time. Had they not got, I think they'd have been more popular had they not gotten KD. But you can't deny that he's a champion. You cannot deny he's an all star. You, can, you can't deny any of that. But at one point, people were saying that this dude was the best player. They was like, he better than Isaiah. He better than Jason Kidd. He better than all of them. And I've never seen an Isaiah Thomas-led team. I've never seen a Jason Kidd-led team not be anything but stellar. They may not have won a championship, but last time I checked, you add Isaiah Thomas, you add, you add, uh, 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 you add Isaiah Thomas, 
you add my, these other uh, Jason Kidd, and you get a much better team. The Dallas Mavericks were putrid up until they added 